Seven years ago I built this solar station, and almost one year ago I decided to create its next generation, which I am testing with this prototype. This prototype should eliminate several important disadvantages of these old solar heaters. I spent less than $1000 building these solar heaters with 58 square meters of mirrors, and we can calculate that it is about $15 per square meter. So, my solar heaters are about 20 times cheaper than these heaters, which focus solar radiation on such receivers. We know that these expensive solar heaters are the basis of very large solar power plants, and the value of all these plants now is approximately 40 billions of dollars. Now, I reminded that these expensive heaters must constantly change their vertical angle according to the movements of the sun across the sky. Similar changes of the vertical angle are missing in my cheap solar heaters, because they are located along this west-east line. Now I am showing photos of this part of solar radiation from absolutely motionless mirrors at these points in time of one day from morning to evening. The movement of this spot lead us to the idea of adding a mechanism for small changes in the receiver position in these directions. That is why my new prototype has these springs, and I want to add a very simple and cheap system for changing the weight of the receiver. Now I am showing an example of our simple and cheap system, and these are containers for water. We understand that the more water is in the containers, the lower our receiver will go down. Unfortunately, this type of our simple and cheap system has several disadvantages, and therefore I am planning to change its design. Now I am starting to show one of the disadvantages. We see a large water leak through the top of this container, because the water comes from this second container. This movement of the water leads to an imbalance, that we can see because of this slope. Increasing the imbalance increases the movement of the water, and this phenomenon increases the imbalance even more. This disadvantage says that we need a different design of the receiver wage change system, which should be simple, cheap, and with a long lifespan. I have some ideas for new design of the system, and I will test and describe them in my future videos. Now we see that here the water leak stops, because the second container is already empty. Perhaps you think that the springs will rapidly edging, degrade and stretch. That is why I did the following testing, and now we must notice that this level is at a height of slightly more than 100 cm. It was in the middle of January, and then several months passed when the position of my device has not changed. Now I will show the condition of my springs 4 months later, and here we see that my springs did not degrade and did not stretch. The springs were from this very cheap Chinese port expander, however we see corrosion of my cheap springs after 9 months of outdoor use. Perhaps my future videos will describe solutions what to do if our springs stretch and why their lifespan will be several decades. So, I repeat that I will be making new videos on this solar heater, in parallel with testing it and improving its design. My goal is to reduce the cost of its heat to the level of half a cent per kilowatt hour, and it is several times cheaper than cost of heat from natural gas or coal. In addition, our cheap solar heat with a temperature of several hundred degrees can be used to generate very cheap electricity, in a similar way to these solar power plants.